Hello, Utopians. It's Russ Sandlin again with this next version of Who Won the Money? So, um, as you know, I'm in Qatar, and uh, as part of my strategy to diversify my savings, I have five different bank accounts in Qatar, and I have five different bank accounts in the United States. The five bank, bank accounts I have in the U.S. I love, uh, Velocity Credit Union in Austin, Texas. Uh, I've got Camden National Bank in Maine, Central Maine, where I live. I've got Navy Federal, which I really like. They've got the best credit cards around. They take care of us Navy vets. I've got Dover Federal Credit Union. Uh, my dad was in the Air Force, so I got that when I was just a high schooler. And then I've got USAA, which probably has the best automobile insurance. Um, they take care of veterans as well. Um, and then in, here in Qatar, I have a salary account with um, with Qatar National Bank QNB, really good bank, really good for transferring money, good app, all that good stuff. A very good bank. It's the, really part of the government. It, it was a government um, bank, and now it's private. But I think the government really has a big stake in it, so it's very stable. And then um, my next bank I have uh, talked about a lot is Doha Bank. Love it because I can buy gold there, and I do buy gold there from time to time. Not as much as I used to, but you can go into the bank and they open up the big vault and they can sell you up to a kilo of gold. You can buy as much as you want, and it's all PAMP stamped um, uh, PAMP bars. Um, the third bank that I have is um, Dukan Bank, and I just talked about their uh, winners a couple days ago. And then the fourth bank I have is Ali Bank, and I just talked about their winners recently. And the fifth bank, the bank we're going to talk about today, is Qatar Islamic Bank, or QIB, which um, just announced their million Qatar Real winner a couple weeks ago. So, so we're going to go over the January and February winners. Um, this is their sixth edition of the millionaire drawing. And a gentleman by the name of Ahmed Mohammed Abunia, he won the 1 million Qatar Real about a month ago he won. So it was randomly drawn, um, just like they have those balls rolling for the lottery in the United States. And it was overseen by an official representative from the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, as well as QIB VIP officials. So they call it the MISC account. I don't know what that means. It's something in Arabic. But QIB MISC is a savings account that gives um, great features. They have uh, weekly and monthly prizes and grand prizes, um, all kinds of prizes. In fact, I think they might give out more money than any other bank here. Um, just looking at their website, um, just it's an amazing amount of money that they give. So, so who won? Who won the money? Well, let's take a look. So um, I took notes, honest. And now I need to find my notes. How embarrassing. Okay, so this is for January and February. So in January, end of January, uh, the gentleman just told you about uh, Mr. Abunia, Ahmed Mohammed Abunia. He won a million Qatar Real. And my public school education means uh, that's 270,000 US. Um, but wait, there's more. And then there were uh, two monthly winners for February um, who won. How much did they win? Gosh. Um, I had to go back to the website. Sorry, guys. Um, looks like they won 50,000. So two winners won 50,000. Um, I'm sorry, four winners won 50,000. Abdullah Al Hajri, Mohammed Al Siad, Kisa Al Sawadi. And Amr Saad Al Hajri. So all four of these guys are uh, well, one lady and three gentlemen are Qataris. So uh, it makes sense. QIB is a um, Islamic bank, so a lot of uh, the citizens will um, save there. So they won um, 100,000 each, which is $27,000 US. Um, and then they gave away, gosh. Um, I'm guessing, let's see, 15, 30, 30 winners won, how much did they win? 
plus like 10,000 Qatar Real. 30 winners, 30 people won um, 10,000 Qatar Real. 10,000 Qatar Real, that's 2,700 bucks. That's not bad. Now, if I look at the names, um, they're almost all Qatari. Almost every one of them. So far, the first week they were all Qatari. The second week, all Qatari. I can tell by the names. Um, yeah, so the grand prize winner, the million, he may have been Egyptian, just looking at the name, or Tunisian, I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's just, you don't know the names unless you're really living here, I suppose, and you're if you're Qatari, you know the other Qatari names. But for me, I'm familiar with some of them because I work with a lot of the guys. There is one guy with the last name Khan, which would mean he's either Indian or Pakistani, probably Pakistani. So that's pretty cool. A Pakistani won quite a bit of money. So, so again, just my strategy is to diversify my funds. And, um, and I like to have fun dreaming that I might win the lottery too. I'm competing every week and every month with, you know, worst case, 800,000 other people. But it comes out to you get more tries the more money you put in. So even though I'm not competing against a lot of people, um, those people have infinitely more tries than I do since I have just a very minimal amount of money in there. So um, my friends on the internet, keep an eye on the news. Um, if you have U.S. bank accounts, try to keep under 250000 in each bank account so that you don't lose money if the bank fails. Try to get yourself some real estate, um, some gold and silver that you own in your house. You have it locked away in your house and don't tell anybody about it. Um, and try to have some bank accounts in different jurisdictions. And in the comments, please let me know where you think I should move my money to, what banks I should open because I'm in my last... I guess, best case, eight months of my contract, seven months here in Qatar. I turned 60 um, in two months. So I won't be allowed to stay, unfortunately, in Qatar anymore. I love it here. I wish I could stay, but I can't fight against the laws. Uh, and the law says you can't be over 60 and be a worker here. So, so I'm looking for a place where I can move my money, um, my small, modest savings, um, outside of the United States. Uh, some of you have told me, look at Belize, don't know about that. And others have said I should try Dubai. I think I might have to go to Dubai to deposit it though. And, and, and since I'm at the tail end of my, um, my career, tail end of my work, I don't want to spend a lot of needless money tra um, traveling. So um, what I'd like to do is find a place where I can open a savings account that's safe and I don't necessarily have to go there to do it. Any ideas you might have? please send them my way. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Thank you for watching, and I'll keep giving you um, new updates and installments on who won the money. Thank you very much. Make it a great day.